So go to github.com, G-I-T-H-U-B.com, and create an account with your Glumbrook uh, email address, and uh, you can choose the free level. Uh, you don't need to pay for anything. Um, we're going to be creating public repositories, and the way that we do that is by uh, going on our homepage here uh, to uh, the plus button. We're going to create a new repository, sometimes also referred to as a repo, um, and what we're going to do is name this repository the name of our game. So the first game that I'm going to upload is Tommy uh, Run. This is an infinite hover style game. Um, I already have one, so I'm going to call it Tommy Run 2, and uh, you can give it a description if you want. You will have to keep this public. Um, private would be, you know, if you had a paid account. Um, we need to check initialize this repository with a readme. If you skip this step, then uh, it, it, becomes, it becomes really difficult to, to do what you need to do. So Check that and then create repository. Um, that'll take a second uh, to load. And you'll see that uh, with our README, we can view what that says. It's basically nothing, just the name of the title. But what we want to do is click on the code tab. and We want to upload files. And we're going to go to our build folder right here. And we're going to upload the index.html file, the release file, and the template data. So basically everything that you would upload to games with a Z, except you're not going to include the root folder. We just created the root folder uh, with the repo. So we'll drag that in here. Uh, it's going to go and uh, upload all of these files. Uh, GitHub is actually supposed to be connected with Git, which is version control software. So you have to name every uh, commit that you push to uh, GitHub. And so I'm just going to call this first upload. If you want to get more descriptive, you can do so right here, but you're going to commit the change. So basically, GitHub actually saves every version of every upload. Um, that's not really relevant for what we're doing because this is sort of our, our finished uh, product. Uh, while this is processing, which can take a few moments, uh, we're going to go to the Settings tab over here, and uh, what we're going to do is scroll down to this section right here called GitHub Pages, and we want to point the source of our GitHub page to the master branch uh, which is basically the upload, and click Save. That will refresh, and we scroll down, we'll get a link. Now, the first time you click this, um, it's going to take you to uh, a 404 error, most likely. Um, simply add index.html. We're basically saying, hey, in this repo, go to the index file, which loads our game. And so you'll see right here that in a short moment, uh, our game will load. And we are almost there and we're playing all right here's tommy the titan sorry for you spartan fans uh playing our infinite hover or i'm sorry infinite runner game all right next up i'm gonna go back uh to github right here um i'll click on my uh on the home page link right here if you have games in games with a z uh and you want to save them uh, you will first need to right click on the project folder and create archive zip archive to create a zip file so that you can then download this onto uh, your computer. Uh, we'll click off of here, let it process, and now I'm going to right click and I'm going to download. Uh, for some reason, Games with the Z is not letting you download the entire folder, um, so you have to zip it first into a single file. So on the desktop, uh, I will save it and let me navigate to my desktop. I'm going to unzip the Flappy Bird uh, folder, and uh, here we are. I've got the, the index.html file as well as the other, the other stuff that I need. So to sort of walk through that process again, now that I have the files, I'll go back to GitHub. I will create a new repository. I'm going to call this one Flappy Bird 2 because I already have one. Keep it public. Initialize a repository with a readme or else you won't be able to upload the files without a huge hassle. Create the repository. We will go to uh, Upload Files. We will move the Flappy Bird game build files into the repository. We will let it upload. We will name the commit first upload. And, oops, not upload, upload, commit change. And let that process. While that's processing, we'll go to the settings page. We will go to GitHub pages. We will select the master branch, save. That will create a new link for us that will open up in a new tab. Uh, if you ever need to delete something, delete the repository, and you have to type out the name of the project in order to confirm the delete, which I don't want to do. Uh, right here, add index.html, so you're telling the browser what specifically uh, to open. 
and that didn't work for some reason, but the steps are all the same. Uh, that's the end of this video. Here's